Hello, everyone. How about some more Phasmophobia? It's not quite a new day. I'm not playing at my usual time. But that's okay. We can just do some random hunts. Have some fun. That? What was the number on that? Let me double check that again. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready uh, for you. I thought that said 27,000. I would have been more impressed. <laughs> okay, what should we do? How about a prison? Please don't be in the upper floor of the cells. We'll see. With all of our favorite toys. You know, there's nowhere in the prison that I think, oh, good, it's here. <laughs> there's a few places in um, the rest of the maps I like, you know, that I'm used to. But the prison's just kind of uniformly annoying to deal with. We've arrived. Check the okay. So we'll go in with a camera, an EMF, and a flashlight. No reports of violence. Karen Jackson in prison. Discover what type of ghost we're dealing with. Evidence with an EMF. Photo of the ghost. Assault. The breaker. Someone messaged me. But it's not important. The breaker is upstairs. Where is that? It's um one of the manager's rooms. Okay. Well, let's go turn it on. Like, the warden's office is to the right. What's to the left? I don't remember. Some administrator. I kind of wish that this... Okay, I know this is way wishlisting. That's not going to happen. But I could imagine the game allowing you to dynamically create buildings. Or even just um, dynamically create it themselves. So you don't just have the same rooms all over the place, over and over again. Did I hear a step? Thought I heard a step, like right here. Hmm. I don't know, I have doubts now. Might just be me stepping from one type of flooring to another. All right, there's the breaker. So what room is this? Is this the warden? No, there's got to be a sign or something. Oh, this is the warden's office. Never mind. Huh. Then what was this room over here? This is a security room for other office people. Okay, never mind. I might have been... Oh. Okay, got a door open. A door open. There's like not that many doors in this in this map. Most of them are cells. It sounded like it was below us. I was thinking the back of the infirmary. So I'm thinking it's either right below us in like the library perhaps, or it's around the corner in one of these offices. the door. Could be a stall opening. Are you here? Well, okay. It's an EMF-5 ghost. It's a freezing temperature ghost, it seems. Do we have some lights around? Did I see freezing temps right here? No. 
Only in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh. Another EMF 5. Well, there's not many options for what it could be left. Let's go back downstairs. I was thinking this guy's office, the chief security officer, was the ward. But I was wrong. I don't think I've had a ghost in that room. Usually it's in the cell blocks. Well, okay, so let's see what we got. So we know it's freezing, we know it's EMF 5. So it can be either a Phantom or a Banshee. Uh, spirit Box doesn't matter, Banshees touch, Phantoms have orbs, and they disappear. So we should bring a camera and a, um, a UV. This could be a fast one, like I didn't, <laughs> I'm surprised the first evidence we got was EMF-5. That was lucky. Our sanity is barely touched. Moved. Now it is potentially a Banshee, so we could be hunted at any time. You know, it's it's the Banshee's ability. She could just teleport to you at random and start a hunt. Uh, what was it? Camera. If we had if we had someone in the the van waiting for us and we'd worn one of those HUDs, uh, the head-mounted cameras, then we would have been able to already know if there were orbs. We could have just walked by the room and gone it. Huh? Some weird shadow effects right there. Again, weird shadow effects. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, you're turning on the water. I haven't gotten that objective in a long time to get the dirty water. Maybe they don't do it anymore. I think we opened that one, right? Oh, there we go. Handprints. We got a banshee. Show yourself. Let me see you. Where are you? Are you here? Are you here? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Do something. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Ah, well. I think we need salt, right? That was interesting. That sounded like a cell door moving. Like downstairs. I think it just teleported somewhere and to a random spot and did not start a hunt because I was not there. But... Interesting. I bet it's teleported directly below itself. I just heard a step right here. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird noises going on. I think it might have teleported me again, but it didn't start a hunt. That's weird. Well, anyway, we know that there are fingerprints, so it is a banshee. Should we keep... I mean, I'm kind of inclined just to go and find something else to play with. 
we've already kind of gotten the maximum amount, the, uh, the larger part of the fun of the ghost out of the way. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to go back up just to walk through salt. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy. How about an asylum? I'm looking for an asylum. Well, I've gathered a list of other hunters asking for help. Asylum can be tricky because there are so many empty rooms. Now, and and sometimes that's good because that means it interacts with its door a lot and lets you uh let you get out, but sometimes it makes it hard to figure out to find the ghost in the first place. Oh, it crashed. Yeah. Game is still messy sometimes. Always on the asylum, too. <laughs> Let's try that again. Welcome back. I've gathered a list of other hunters asking for help. No, asylum. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. No. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready there for you. There we go. But yeah, sometimes the ghosts, um, they, they don't have a lot to interact with. So, it's sometimes harder to, like, get evidence. get that EMF-5. Okay, looks like that worked. So I'm gonna go in with a candle, just because this place is huge. I don't want to lose all my sanity until after we get to the ghost room. Alright, so Donald Moore. Salt, photo, EMF. The breaker is off to the left side in the um, the utility right there. Donald, where are you? Donald. Oh. Did I hear something? Might have just been the clock. I think it was just the clock. doors yet. Let's just go right back and get a thermometer and then we can start ruling out places. We've had some tricky ghosts in the asylum, where I keep on thinking they're like really close, but they're actually far away and the noise just carries. Ghost is inactive. Let's do a quick little survey. for open doors and that kind of thing. It's 
suspicious lights. Sight no. All right. We're gonna start bleeding sanity because we're gonna be in the dark. Now I didn't hear anything when we went off to the left. Let's go right. Oh, it's still not warm yet. I mean, it could be there's ghosts here, but I don't think so. I think it's just that uh, it hasn't warmed up yet. I thought I heard a, a knock. Definitely heard a door. But I couldn't tell which direction the door was. And this thermometer is useless. I keep thinking of something behind me. And it could be. I mean, it seems like we are getting hot rooms now. Which makes me wonder if it's just that the hallway is cold. It's always possible. We're quite far from where I heard the noise, but like I said, I don't trust that I would know. I thought I heard a door again, back towards the center. It could be below us, too. Alright, let's head, let's swing back towards the center. I don't know why I'm walking around in the dark. I should have switched the lights over. But that's okay. Give me a sign. Now it's nice. We're again 19. So anytime we see something over 15, we know it's not the ghost room. Anytime we see something under three, we know it is the ghost room. Otherwise, it's tricky. I'm thinking it's either below us or in the center section. Well, that was very obviously from this way. Well, now it sounds like it was back up there. That's frustrating. Is it maybe one of these? Is that door open? Yeah, we got an open door. There we go. We have a ghost room. In the bathroom. Or not the bathroom, the trash room. Does it extend out to here? No. But, well, wait a minute. I said no, but then you did something in here. It's hot in here. I mean, what's the deal? Okay, well, 
it's here. Let's go get some gear. Hope that we didn't burn too much sanity looking around for it. It does make me nervous though when it is able to uh, mess with stuff outside of a cold room. I mean, it could just have wandered to there and done something, or it could just do something near me. But it could mean that there's a, a glitch in um, in how the game treats the rooms as separate. Like how sometimes the ghost will do something directly above or below them, because it can't tell. Yeah, that's not doing anything. So we know it's warm. It touched the door. Let's get a UV and a. Sp uh, we should bring a book down. Just to get it out there, give it the lot most chance to interact. So we have three lights on. One in the room. That's four. One in the hallway is five. We can probably turn this um, the stairwell light on too and be safe. <sighs> Why you do this to me, ghost? I was tempted to just go straight to the ghost room, but let's go turn this back on. Then we'll go down that stairs, go across below. It's a little early to say we're going to just live in the dark. Especially since it took us a while to find it. And because we have not ruled out Revenant yet. Should be seeing light in front of us. There we are. It's just around the corner a little bit. It opened this door again, I think. I think we had that shut. It turned off its own light. Messing with stalls? Doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to leave fingerprints. I wonder if I should move the book over there, even though this is the cold room. Right? Because it's just doing so much with the stalls. Let's see how bad our sanity's gone. And then get a spirit box down there. And a regular camera, perhaps? We might want... I, I'm thinking we're going to want a camera out soon. Because we want to... Um, 
we want to be able to move it into the bathroom later, just in case the it's being troubles. No particularly obvious EMF pattern. We're at 70, so we're not huntable yet. Let's uh grab a camera. And I'll bring a what's my objectives? EMF? We'll get an EMF down there. And the other objective is salt. We can do salt later. Maybe. When you have lights on in some parts of the... Really? Well, I was about to complain that having lights on sometimes makes the darker parts seem darker. But I guess that's not going to be a problem for us. Instead, we just have little shadow creatures running around all over the place. Like, I'm not even going to fight it anymore. It's too long a walk. We got riding. Give me a sign. Are you here? Give me a sign. Are you here? Nope, leave this here. So riding and hot, you know it's strange. You, the game is just not set up for me to think in these terms. But um, if I, if I said it was riding and cold, I would immediately know like, oh, it's probably a yure, or I'd you know have a list of them and I'd be able to get it. But knowing that it's not cold and that it writes doesn't give me the same sort of information. It should. Like if I had to, if I had a uh, little chart where I could turn things on and off, I, I would. I would know, but I don't. And the game, as I said, isn't set up that way. No orb. Alright, so, writing. Which means it's either a spirit, a revenant, a shade, a demon, or a yure, or an oni. Now... If it were freezing temps, it could be a demon or a yure. It's not that. So it's a spirit, a revenant, a shade, or an oni. Fingerprints would be spirit or revenant. We did not see fingerprints, which is great. So spirit box would be spirit and oni, right? Yeah. So that's not going to tell us very much. Except for it would help us rule out oni. Uh, rule out... Uh, Revenant, even though we think we already have. Orbs would be not helpful. EMF would be Oni. Hmm. Let's bring our spirit box down. Oh, it just threw our book. <laughs> Let's bring a spirit box down. Uh, our sanity is starting to dip. We'll bring a, we'll bring some salt down too, because why not? And we'll look again for uh, for orbs. 
Not warps. We'll move the camp. Oh no, the warps aren't going to help us. We already decided that. We'll move the, um. Well. We'll look again with the UV light to see if there's any potential fingerprints. In a way, I suppose it does make sense that ruling out does not give you as much information as getting evidence, because if you've ruled, if you've, um, if you get evidence, then there's only one more piece of evidence you can find. If you get that second piece of evidence, if you have an evidence and a rule out, then there's still two things you don't know. If that made any sense at all. How old are you? Yeah, you you talk. So, Spirit or Oni? EMF would be Oni. Fingerprints of Spirit. Right now we're thinking Oni. Consistently not getting uh, fingerprints. Give me a sign. was a stall. That was this door. There we go. EMF 5. Oni! Confirmed. Getting to the reception. I'm almost at reception. No, I'm in there now. I'm almost at the door. I'm gonna be in my truck soon. Step. Step. One more step. Okay. Well, you had your chance, Ghost. And there's a clear EMF-5 signal. We got it to walk through salt. We didn't get the photo, but whatever. Oh, uh, we weren't even huntable yet. That is another issue. It's because the ghosts don't have as much things to throw. They don't have as much ability to um, to lower your, your, your sanity. Like in a house, or a... Um, uh, even a farmhouse, um, they can throw stuff all over the place and you can drop your sanity like 20 or 30% in just a few minutes. Let's do a ridge view. But in the asylum, unless there's a ghost event, you can be pretty certain that you're within 15, 20 of where you started last time you left the truck. Didn't crash this time. That's good. And get set up before investigating. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. Crucifix motion photo. Nothing else to report, we haven't gotten a. We haven't seen a ghost this day yet. Hmm. Jennifer Martinez. Unless you're a scary ghost, we'll try to get your picture. No, I didn't. Ah, uh, we'll we'll find it. It's probably either in the garage or the basement. The breaker, I mean. Hello, Jennifer. Well, not here. 
But I definitely think it would be nice if they could do some more randomization of the houses. I think there's a little bit. Like, things are not always in the same place all the time. But there could be more. Like, the layout's always the same. Maybe I'm asking too much. Probably that would ruin the pathfinding. But, whatever. You're facing the wall. Do we see a Ouija board? No. I don't even know where they spawn. Just on the floor around here somewhere. Ghost is being quiet. Oh, well, there's a sound. Sounds like it's upstairs. Off to the right, perhaps. Oh, interesting. Is it in the hallway? Oh. Did I see a freezing temp? Yeah, okay. Here we are. And it's wandering into the hallway occasionally. Let's check for a Ouija board. If we can find one, or a bone. Oh! That was weird. What was that? I can't do it again. It was like... It was like the wall was closer to me or something. But anyway, yeah, Ouija board. Is that an EMF 5? It's loud. No, it's just a 3. Through an object. again. I've had bad luck with bones lately. We're just not finding them. More objects falling. I'll be with you. Ah, there we go. That was a hunt for a moment. That was scary. We're getting a lot of flashes. <laughs> they did something. They made it so the flashing lights feel more, you know, they feel scarier. I don't know why, but some for some reason the lights definitely, they always make me think we're going into a hunt. 78%. Uh, Jennifer Martinez motion. So, motion sensor and a uh, spirit box? No, I should get the book up there. I, I used to always bring a book with me. That was like our starting loadout. We bring a, temp a thermometer, a flashlight, and a book. But, uh, nowadays things are different. I have to always remember that we need to bring the book up. Just a 
to. Oh, we got writing. Ooh. Writing and freezing. Hmm. Let's get that spirit box up here. Our sanity's at 70-ish, right? Hmm. We can confirm with uh, the Ouija board, but... It's a worry. Uh, we needed... I brought the crucifix up. I meant the motion sensor. Oh, well. We needed one both of them. It's not muffled, it is, until you get into her. <laughs> How old are you? 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 Oh, it's lights on. What am I thinking? How old are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you here? How old are you? How old are you? Not a demon. Just a three. Knocking on the window again. Okay. No. Oh. I feel like it's going out. Because I, f I keep hearing things slightly further away than I think is in the room. So, I think it's like going into that bathroom and doing stuff. Knocking on, knocking on the window and things. Right now, uh, it doesn't seem like a demon. But what do we got? So, freezing temperature and writing is demon or yure. So, what's a yure other than that? Orbs. Okay. Let's get some cameras. Did I take a picture of that? Now I have. Are you here? Show yourself. Jennifer. Jennifer, are you here? noisy. Come on. You're not a demon. Come on.
Where are the orbs? There should be orbs. If it is a demon, we're huntable. I mean, we got crucifixes up there, but it shouldn't be a demon. We It didn't talk to us. Orbs are so unreliable. Like you get a good view of an entire room, and you you drop you have cameras, and you say, "Oh, it can't be orbs," and it turns out like it was like in the doorway or something. Well, if our sanity is still above 50, and it says we got the objective of preventing a hunt, that means we know it's a demon. But I bet it, there's orbs somewhere. Yep, there it is. Hiding in a closet. Through the wall, even. Ever unreliable orbs. Okay. So we got a Yure. Um We could try to provoke it a little. See if we can get a picture. I'm okay with that. Just for funsies. And then we'll ask you questions and drop our sanity to zero and make sure we get a hunt. Are you here? Where are you? Jennifer, where are you? Jennifer, are you here? Jennifer, show yourself. Shh. Show yourself. Jennifer, are you here? Jennifer, give us a sign. Jennifer, give us a sign. Show yourself. Jennifer, give us a sign. Jennifer, show yourself. Oh, the crucifix has appeared. Okay. <laughs> that, that tells me we got we got hunted. That means we got hunted twice. Because these crucifix can uh, prevent two hunts, right? Hmm. Let's just make sure we got the objective. Maybe I just didn't see it. Maybe I moved it. But I thought it disappeared. <laughs> oh my. Yep, it's gone. And each crucifix can hold two. That's my understanding. You can even see the orb in the day. Or with the lights on. I think you just turned on that light. Or something. Well, now I can't. I was a moment ago. Yeah, you can still see it.
I'm not going back in, but I want to know what, what the ghost type is. So if we can... Uh, never mind. Let's see if she comes down. Here she comes. Oh, you're not even a scary looking ghost. You just have a messed up face a little bit. You're not like the kids. She's going back upstairs. Oh well. To go back to your room. Now you're running running around the rest of the uh, upstairs. All right. Well, at least we saw the ghost. Even if we didn't get a picture of it. It's a Yure. Look at that. She hunted me at 48 standard. Take a look at our pictures. Back. Should be pretty Welcome weak pictures today. Like, this is a picture of a ghost, but you can't see her in it. Writing. I believe this was of the door moving. No, maybe it was trying to get fingerprints or something. I don't know. Ouija board. We didn't even get to ask a question on the Ouija board. She scared us off before we could put it down. And turn it on. Bone writing. We had some fun hunts. Or some fun uh some fun expeditions. Or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Until next time.